Let's talk about your mayor in Chicago, Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Um, And this push now, she, like our mayor in New York, is pushing the mandates on everyone, the teachers, the cops, and so on. And the cops are pushing back. They have not yet all gotten the vaccine. They have not yet all reported their vaccine status, as she's requiring. They say 71% have reported their vaccine status. Of those, 81% say they're vaccinated. So um, you've got a lot of cops now who aren't saying and presumably aren't vaccinated. They say per Chicago FOP, more than 3,500 officers have so far declined to report their vaccination status. Um, That's a lot of cops. So what's the plan? Well, the plan is, I wish, if I could have a magic wand, I'd uh, I'd expect that media in Chicago, which is now totally woke, uh, would examine what's really going on. And they're not. Which is all this, the attack on cops, the demonization of police, the you will do what I say, you know, whether they're, they're, not, they're already vaccinated whether they've already had COVID, you know, they went out and had to work for the the past year with no protection, just go out there, first responders, get COVID and struggle through. All that is a distraction from the real issue in Chicago, which is crime, Mm -hmm. violent, violent crime. And the, and also the, uh, the Democratic Party, Lori Lightfoot endorsed Kim Fox for re-election. One of these uh, George Soros-backed prosecutors, I wrote about her when I worked at the paper and that, and quoted, it was, I, I wrote about her mentioning what other newspapers from the New York Times, the Philadelphia Inquirer, Huff Poe, name it, had mentioned that she took money from George Soros, $2 million in campaign contributions. And I got for my pains, I was defamed by the woke union at the Tribune, and I left. So you're not seeing any more of that in Chicago, questioning mm. Kim Fox, Lori Lightfoot, their relationship, the permissiveness, and the, and the, and the um, lawlessness. All of it is a piece. They're just ignoring it. So the people of Chicago are angry, Megan, and the cops are angry. They've had enough. They were they were they were pushed around by Lori Lightfoot while she was giving uh, benefits and money to the Chicago Teachers Union. The cops went to work, right? They had to put their hands on people with COVID, right? They had to wrestle on the street with them. Mm-hmm. They got COVID and got sick. The teachers union stayed at home while the kids stayed at home. Oh, just to interject, and, this is this reminds me of my very favorite video of the entire COVID shutdown, which was the Chicago teachers doing their dumbass interpretive dance, leaping through the air on camera, young, healthy teachers. This is why we can't go. We can't go back into the classroom because it's unsafe. And this is a celebration of our bodies that we'd like to keep safe. Totally able bodied young people who refuse to teach the kids while the cops are out there dealing with the real criminals day by day. And now the cops are villainized. Sorry, it just brought back a memory that no, I no, no. 35 loved. years ago, 36 years ago, I fell in love with Betty Ann Castiglia, a beautiful Sicilian dancer. And she's still my wife today. Aww. And she hated, she hated, she's a <laughs> dancer and choreographer. And she hated that. You know, she was just it sick ridiculous? of it. it she's was a teacher. Ridiculous. Oh, it was embarrassing. But so much of the woke nonsense is embarrassing. It is, you know, look, you can go Okay, under in Chicago, you could you could go to the you could go to the store and get you know a sl- uh, half pound of American cheese, and these poor deli workers had to be there because they were essential workers, right? Mm-hmm. But the teachers weren't essential. I guess they sat sat at home, you know, while the kids were falling behind in school. Mm-hmm. And it, it's just the whole thing. So it's a capitulation. Public order has been. Uh, broken by by special interest politics, by people like Lori Lightfoot, who endorsed Kim Fox. I used to support Lori, and when she did that, we were done. Um, And that's where we are now. So she needs to beat up on the cops uh, to distract from the fact that carjackings are up, like what, 
500 percent what is it homicides 700 homicides shootings we're at 4,000 shootings kids are getting shot every day uh but you know let's let's go wag our fingers at those coppers yeah well, many the of problem whom, many of whom cops and firefighters and paramedics have already had COVID. Right. So they, I'm not a scientist, but I, I keep hearing if you had it, your, your immune system is, you know, it's better than if you got the vaccine, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it can be. No, I mean, we, we talked about a study in the Lancet showing that six months after your second Pfizer jab, you only have 47% protection against the, against COVID. And if right. you had a strong case of COVID, you know, four months ago, you're way more protected according to that than you'd be if you were in the status of somebody like me, six months post the second jab. Um, she so so one of the problems that we have with Kim Fox, and it's under this mayor's watch, is she doesn't have much interest in prosecuting crime whatsoever. This is the one who let Jesse Smollett go, though she was ultimately the charges were brought by somebody else, and he's facing that now. But she like when I was reading your columns about what's gone on with her dropping charges after charges, she won't yeah. prosecute shoplifting cases. Um, no. She keeps dropping felony murder cases. And then you talked about um, there was a street, deadly street gang battle, five suspects, all of them on video. video. And what did she do? Drop it. Walk. Yeah. Mutual combatants. So, I guess the theory of mutual combatants is if you're shooting each other, that well, no, no blood of innocence, no foul or something, but innocents get killed. There was a, a woman driving home from the White Sox game back when the White Sox were playing before they got run out of the playoffs. She was in the, in, on the Dan Ryan Expressway driving to the suburbs. She got caught in the middle of uh, gunfire to get rival gangs. She's dead. No charges. They had, they had uh, the the shot spotter found the car and the. They thought they had the driver, but no, no charges, no charges. Mm-hmm. Kim Fox, and see, it comes to the point like what you mentioned on, uh, the permissiveness, like what you mentioned, uh, Michigan Avenue, the crown jewel of shopping, right mm-hmm. in Chicago. I can attest to that. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's where you used to go. That's where uh, I would be dragged to, 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 you know, drop a few of money that I didn't have uh, for, because she likes something, you know, like, uh, I don't know what. Great stuff. Marshall those, Fields, those, yeah, Bloomingdale Marshall there, Fields, all your favorite stores, Mag Mile, they call it. Beautiful lace, uh, lace dresses from Burberry. Yeah, all that. And now you can't go. I mean, you can, but the police have issued a warning to patrons if you go on michigan avenue just came out a week ago if you go on michigan avenue you could be robbed because the robberies are continuing so kim fox does not want to uh prosecute shoplifters because the, in her mind they're all jean valjean and they're st- just stealing a loaf of bread <laughs> i was gonna say what if like i shoplifted right? do you think she'd come oh, for me <laughs> guess what if i shop if you and i shoplifted if we hit Burberry and shoplifted, I don't think we'd get away with it. But be a just, fun experiment. We'll have Abby videotape it with under her yeah, trench yeah. coat, <laughs> her Burberry trench. But, <laughs> but the, it's not only it's not only the fact that they're not prosecuting those people, uh, the the perpetrators. It's that if you're down there, like if my wife was down there and there was a gang of shoplifters coming in, you know, say she's at a uh, you know boutique on on uh, Oak Street. And a gang of shoplifters come in, grabbing everything, and run out. I don't think that shoppers are willing to go back mm, right. to a place like that. So it's like the poor shopkeeper loses money, the loses business, the city loses business. But you know what they they, they save? They save their cred, their their you yeah. know their progressive cred. 